they could all be close to you if you want. You could have more than one, uh, more than one name in, in each circle too as well. All right, let's start. Hannah, you got a question? Well, I'm just wondering, is it okay if I leave the last one blank? Yeah, sure. You mean? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's start with circle one. Um, what are some of the things that you guys and girls wrote in circle one? Luke? Uh, friends and family. All right, we got to get more specific. Let's start with. Okay, parents, because friends and family. That wow, we could talk about that for. Half an hour. So parents, mom and dad are in there. Good. See, Claudia? My dog. Your dog. Your pets. Okay. Just curious, anybody have pets outside of circle one? Maybe in circle two or circle three or circle four? Okay, so pets are an immediate family. Everybody thinks pets should be in circle one? Okay, good. Thanks, Claudia. Marbella? Gina. God. God. Circle one. How many of you had God in there? I forgot. <laughs> I've had classes in the past that say God is in circle two, three, four. It is what it is. Whatever, whatever, however close God is to you, that's how close he is to you and you to him. Good. Thanks, Gina. Uh, yes, Dan. School. Schools in one. Yeah. You have a great obligation. Now, when you when you say school, do you mean this school, Saint Ignatius, or do you mean um, your own education? Okay. All right, school. You said school. Okay. Good. 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 Um, Dylan and then Matt. I have kind of two. I put siblings and grandparents. In circle one. Okay. Sibs and grandparents. Anybody have grandparents outside, maybe in circle two? Well, right. two. Or even three? So grandparents could be out. And guys and girls, if, you, if somebody says something and you want to raise your hand and kind of move it, we could do that. Anybody have siblings outside, maybe in circle two? Yeah? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, Hannah, and then, yes. Oh, sorry. Um, I was just going to say, I put school like further up because I think it's yeah. more important like who you are in life, like generosity, like caring, than like your, like how smart you are. So Hannah, where should school go? Two, three? I put it... Four? And three. And three, okay. <laughs> school can go out. Good. Yes, Kelly. Uh, not my sister or anything, but it was school I put it in two because I put like all like my relationships in one. Okay. School can go in two or three. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Matt? Um, I like elderly people and like people with diseases, like to help them do like the things that they How can we phrase that? People in need? Uh, yeah, people in need. Yeah. So, Matt, you might not know them at all, but if they're in need, then we have an obligation to help them. What about, uh, and I'm just kind of throwing this one out, what about the people in Haiti? Where would they fall? I mean, they went through this terrible earthquake, then there was another terrible aftershock. I'd say one. Okay. You'd say one? Yeah, they, they, Dylan, would you agree, one? No, I didn't mean four. Because it's obligation. Like, you, I mean, you might feel like you have this want to um, like help the people, but you're not actually directly Okay, I hear what you're saying because because it happened so far away and it is very terrible, but we don't have a great obligation to go out and help them. We would love it if they got help, but we personally are not obligated. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, Martin. I have to say in the one circle. Sorry, but uh, I had like a reflection, you know, so like some, someone said God, but like I said it's like more than just a prayer, you know, like thinking about like 
stuff at, at the end of the day. So just meditation? You're kind of saying like you have an obligation to yourself? Well, not just like myself, just like thinking about like kind of, kind of praying. Okay. So an obligation to God and also to prayer? Okay. Meditation? Okay. Taylor? Goals are your dreams in the first. Goals, your dreams. I think what we're getting at here is do you have an obligation to yourself? You know, do you have an obligation to have a good, faithful life? Do you have an obligation for your future? Dan, you mentioned school. That could be towards the self as well. You have an obligation to yourself. Um, all right, we're paying a lot of focus to Circle One. That's good. See, Cloudy, something else in Circle One? Or? No, it's in Circle Four. Circle Four? Yeah, the environment. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have, an, uh, anybody put the environment closer in? Two. Two? Two? Three. Two? Three? Anybody think the environment should be in circle one? If we don't pay attention to the environment, it's not going to be here much longer. Yeah. Luke, you say yes? Yeah, because we don't deserve the earth and we don't protect it. We're not going to be able to live here. Okay. It's going to Okay, okay. okay. We don't protect it, it's not going to be here. Uh, any others? These are all good. Um, yes, Laura. All right, your family, the really close people, you have to make sacrifices to them. If you all have a dream to go out and say, be a certain something, but then life happens to you, and you have to stop going to school to take care of your you know, aging mom and dad or brother or sister or whatever, that might be a greater obligation. Good point, good point. Um, Luke and then Gina? Um, obviously in the first circle, the soldiers, like in Iraq. Now Luke, you said soldiers. What do you mean by we have an obligation? You mean to help them? Especially yeah, we need to like, send them supplies to like, um, you know, make them like, feel like we're thinking about them. Okay, so we have a... We have an obligation to help the soldiers that are fighting for our country. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Let me ask you then another thing. Um, do we have an obligation to our country? Yes. I don't think we don't have two. Dan, you say two? Let's talk for just a moment about that. Obligation to country. Does somebody want to move it into one? Does somebody want to move it out to three or four? What do you mean by country? I mean your country needs you. Not necessarily to be a soldier and fight in a war, but does your country, do you have an obligation to help your country? Help the people of your country? Help uh, build up your country to make it stronger? Do we have an obligation to make this country better? In any way, shape, and form. Laura? I don't agree. You put it in four. Okay. Anybody think country should go in one? Katie? Um, I think that, like, for me personally, I would put, like, America specifically closer to the center than country because, like, we have a lot of stuff here that we think we're in, like, a lot of countries haven't really done a lot of other people. So I think more specifically, America would be closer to the country in general. Ah, okay. So America is, should have a stronger obligation than just some other country. For us. Right. So uh, could I write that where? In circle one? Okay. U.S. I hear you. Um, Dylan and then Charlie? I think... And then Kevin? I think like country... When I think country, I think like I have, a, I have a, an obligation to my country. So like when you said like, like U.S. was a country. And I think it's really about because I think Okay. So there's a limit there. Yeah. Yes, Charlie? I would say put it down your like, school and your education because um, your country kind of needs you to be it's, like, in the future in a way. So um, when things get obligated, like, uh, I guess other people or a school that could go in like the same like, country, 
Okay. Okay. Any others? Any others that you're thinking about? Kevin, you were next. Well, I have a comment like Katie said, country is closer than the US, but the media is already there. So, I mean, kind of like it's the same to yourself. So, should you just put country in the country that you live in? Okay, the country you live in. Okay, Taylor? That's sports and not sports. Sports. What do you mean? Like the Bears? So whatever you're involved in, maybe, Taylor, you're talking about like if you are on the soccer team or the volleyball team or the swim team or whatever, you have a great obligation to help your team. Does that ever become in circle one? Uh, no. No? Okay. Okay. Family comes first. Okay, good. Yes, Kelly. Okay, so other family members? Cousins. Yeah. It's interesting when you think about what is family. You know, Luke, I think you started out by saying family and friends, but gosh, we get into family. What, you know, family, grandparents, cousins, nieces, and nephews. Anybody have a, a crazy Aunt Margie that lives in Cleveland? I mean, they might fall out here. Anybody, let me ask you this does anybody have anything that falls outside the circle that you have no obligation to, whatever? Jeannie, you're nodding your head, yes? Yeah. Talking about family members or something else? Family members. Family. Luke, you think so too? No, I think we can call them outside the circle. Some family. I hear you, I hear you. Uh, Luke, government, why? I think should be helped out. I don't feel like they're trying to make the world a better place. <laughs> I, I, I hate <laughs> but wait a minute, Luke, let me ask you. When it snows out here in Chicago, who paves our who paves our streets? Who paves our streets? Uh, <laughs> and he works for the city. And the city is our government, our local government. I'm talking about like if your house gets robbed, who do you call? You call the police officers who are city employees. <laughs> You owe, you owe a lot more gratitude and obligation to the government than you think. See, that's the problem. I feel like the cops are always trying to, like, especially from a kid's, like, point of view. Well, maybe you're trouble. <laughs> no, I'm just asking you, Luke, think about it, because you, I think we owe a debt of gratitude, not, maybe not gratitude, but we are obliged to our government more than we think, on a local level, on a state level, and on a national level. Marbella? I'm sorry, Marbella. Go ahead, Luke. Marbella, hold on, he's got one more point. Yes? Why should we have to pay for, like, being this land? Like, I feel like they're just taking our money. I know it's to help us pay people. <laughs> <laughs> why? Everybody stop! <laughs> why? So why are we being taxed is the question. Yeah. We'll talk about that. I know it's to help, like, pay everyone who, like, do, do like, similar jobs, like, smell bombing and garbage kind of stuff, right. but, like, why do they keep taxing us? I think there should be a different like, source for their income. Interesting. So do a lot of people. Believe me, you're not alone. A lot of people say that the tax structure in this country is wrong. Marbella, last point. Yes. Say that again. Okay. To have a voice. You said it's in circle one? <laughs> so everybody was laughing at Luke when he's talking about the taxes. And Luke spoke up and he said, everybody, listen. And Marbella, you second that and said it's very important to have a voice. If you have an idea, you should be able to kind of voice that idea. Good points. Okay, good place to end it. Think about this because this really is central to what we're going to be talking about really for the rest of the semester.